What's going on everybody? Shadi Lo back here again from Bylo Designs. Today is just gonna be a quick uh, video, tutorial, whatever it is, about how to force restart your Apple Watch when it does become unresponsive. So whether it's freezing, just laggy, or um, you know, you're not, you're not able to restart it on it by just holding down the power button. So um, this is just gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna get right to it, and I hope you guys find this helpful. If you guys don't already know the steps, um, share with friends and family, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll put a, as many videos as possible. If you have any questions about any other troubleshooting steps, please list them in the comments below and I'll get started on another video right away for you guys. Um, it could be for Apple Watch, iPad, iPhone, iPod, uh, MacBooks, anything like that. So feel free to comment down below if you have any questions at all. Thank you. All right, so for example, mine's on the lock screen right now. And, and say, for example, your watch freezes or you can't type in your passcode or something like that. Uh, mine's responding right now, but just to give you guys an example, all you would have to do is hold down this digital crown and the side button at the same time. So you're gonna to wanna to hold it down for about 10, maybe 15 seconds until the watch powers off. You're gonna, there you go. And then you can let go at that point. You're gonna see the Apple logo come up, there you go. And then it does take a little bit longer than, for example, the iPhone or the iPad to force restart. So you're gonna see the Apple logo maybe. Um, I noticed on this Apple Watch uh, for about up to a minute, maybe a little bit longer in some cases, but you're gonna feel the haptic feedback, the little vibration on the watch, on your wrist um, when it does begin to restart. So we'll come back in a few seconds. All right, so it just vibrated on my wrist right now. Should be loading the home screen in any second now. There we go. And now your watch should be responsive again. Again, a lot of things you want to check too is um, for any watch updates, and you can do this by checking your iPhone watch app, um, things like that. If it does happen continuously, this is just a quick step you should follow. If you know you notice it at random, and it's just you know it happens sometimes, so that's just a quick and easy step you can do if you want to get the watch back working again. Um, and then that's about it. I hope you guys find this helpful, and uh, look out for my bands coming soon. This is just a sample, but. Um, I'll have some more Apple Watch bands releasing soon and then more videos. Again, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff if you guys find this helpful. Um, and we'll be back with another video hopefully soon. Thank you.